Are we in a transport storm or are we ahead of the storm? Is, in, is there in fact a storm at all? And we're just seeing mobility evolve as it always has done, as technology changes from the horse to the carriage to train to car. Is it new or just more of the same? And the term disruption is just a fancy way to say change and adapt, as businesses always do. Well, let's find out over the next few days. That's why we're here. This year's conference theme, as you would have noticed from the columns and everywhere you look, is moving people, Century 21. Now it's hard to believe that 18 years ago, when it was the year 2000, we were all concerned at midnight on January 31 that all of our computers were going to shut down as the, click, the date clicked over. But it didn't, and the world continued on. And I'd suggest that the word disruption is really just about change and adapting to new technology to change your business and the way you've done things in the past, just as the things have always evolved in that manner. But a lot has changed in the first 18 years of the 2000s. And looking forward, if you believe in autonomous vehicles becoming the norm in the next 10, 20, I'd suggest maybe 30 years, then we're already at 2048, if we're thinking 30 years ahead. 2058, is it? No, 2048, I can add up. Thanks, Claire. Time and things seem to be changing faster than ever these days. But could I suggest that as we moved from the horse and carriage to train, the people of those days thought this is a massive disruption just as we are looking at things like Uber and new big data and disruptive technologies that are changing the way that we undertake the mobility task because the word has become mobility. Mobility as a service. Transport and passenger transport, almost seemingly words that are going out of fashion as well. We're having, already having serious discussions around the country now about the use of autonomous vehicles and trials, as you were aware, are underway. They're trials of what they, some people are terming buses. I'd hardly call some of those vehicles buses. They're small 12-seater passenger carriers that are doing a certain task but it's certainly not the task the bus industry currently undertakes, though it may be part of the task that the bus industry undertakes in the future. So we have to be ahead of the game, ahead of the storm, and create a business space for the bus and coach industry in the future, mobility business, whatever that might be. Hopefully, this year the conference will provide some insights and trends, research and information projections and perspectives that will allow bus operator and suppliers to get a glimpse into the challenges and opportunities of the future and the risks and rewards for today. So good morning to everyone and especially our Kiwi colleagues. Welcome everyone to sunny North Queensland. As you will see from the program, it's full on like this room, uh, well, but we don't make an apology for that. The, the best problem we've had in organising these events is that we've got too many people after we book the venues, but that's just something we need to manage, so we seek your patience and understanding that on the first morning everyone will be here. After lunch today a few of you will find and identify that it's a nice sunny day and you won't be in the room and we'll have a bit more space. But I'd encourage you all to stay on because the program and the speakers I'd encourage you all to stay on, I said. I know what you like. I've seen it all before. Usually led by Stephen Lucas, who's always looking for a drinking mate to go down to the Great Barrier Reef Hotel if you're looking for someone to drink with. We've attracted high quality speakers from here and from overseas. We all know that we live in a world of change and transformation and the program we've put together for you very much reflects that. So put in the time for the sessions, for the great array of speakers we've put together, 
and enjoy the conference. I would now like to call BIC, Wayne, BIC Chairman Wayne Patch, who was re-elected as the VIC Chairman yesterday for another year, to the podium. Mr Patch. <laughs> 